Ron Wade with IDT, and today we're going to give you the uh, lowdown on low power HCSL outputs in a nutshell. But first, we have to understand what standard HCSL outputs are. Uh, these are used to clock PCI Express systems for the most part, and uh, we have the standard HCSL, which is a basically it's a constant current type of output. Uh, we have a current source providing 15 milliamps, and we steer the current between the the uh, true and the complement outputs. And you can see here. Uh, the uh, current is being steered to the complement output. So this 15 milliamps goes out this resistor uh, in, in series with the output, and then um, it hits the, uh, a pull-down resistor. So you've got the current flow going this way, and then this way. And so this 15 milliamps goes through here, which is typically 33 ohms, and then goes through this resistor, which is 49.9 ohms, and that result is you get your 750 millivolts on the line here. And then when the um, current is switched, you've got the 750 millivolts on, on the, on the uh, line, and uh, as you, when you disconnect the current source, the uh, voltage, the charge on the line dissipates through this resistor to ground, and that's how this thing works. You're constantly steering a current back and forth. It's 15 milliamps per uh, output uh, for 100 ohm loads, and that's roughly from 3.3 volts, that is roughly 50 milliwatts per output, which is which is kind of high. The low power uh, HCSL outputs are sometimes referred to as push-pull outputs because on the, tr on the uh, complement, the true line here, we actually have uh, two transistors which are um, actually yanking the uh, signal between ground and this thing called VDDO. In this case, VDDO is a constant voltage source which would be set at approximately 750 millivolts for uh, the, the high voltage. And then you have one common control line here, which when it when the complement is shorted um, to the VDD O rail, the true would be shorted to uh, ground through the transistor, and vice versa. That's why it's called push pull. We're actually pushing and pulling the signal up and down. And because we're pulling the signal down um, to ground uh, back through this path, there's no shunt resistor to ground on this termination. We only have series resistors. Power consumption wise. This is uh, in a 10 inch trace at 100 megahertz, it's about five milliamps. Uh, so you're already one third the uh, power of the other guy. And uh, because this is a voltage source or a voltage regulator, you can um, actually power this from something less than 3.3 volts and save more power. So you save power, you have the ability to cut the uh, termination resistors in half and actually, you can actually, uh, with, these, with this technology, bring these series terminations inside for the most uh, density on your board. That's uh, low power HCSL in a nutshell, thanks.